Hello! In this video, you'll learn how to set up the VoIP.ms soft phone to make and receive calls using your VoIP.ms account or sub-account. The VoIP.ms soft phone is available for download on both iOS and Android. Search for VoIP.ms soft phone in your app store or use the links in the description box to get started. After installing the app, you will see the login screen, where you will enter your SIP account details to connect to the VoIP.ms service. In the username field, you'll need to enter your SIP username. For main accounts, this is your six-digit account number, which you'll find in the account information section under the main menu. If you're using a sub-account, it will be the main number followed by an underscore and the sub-account name. For the password, you must use the SIP password. If you don't know it or haven't set one yet, here's how. For main accounts, go to Account Settings from the main menu, then open the Security tab. There you can enter a new password in the SIP IAX password field, or use the Reset button for a quick update. For subaccounts, go to Manage Subaccounts, then click Edit, and set the password in the SIP IAX password field. In the Server field, select the VoIP.ms server closest to your location. You can find the full list of servers in the account information section of your customer portal. Once everything is filled in, tap the check mark at the top and accept the service agreement to continue. The app will now ask for a few permissions. Be sure to allow access to your microphone, contacts, phone, and full screen incoming calls. These are required for placing and receiving calls. For best performance, you'll also need to adjust a few additional settings on your device. Open your phone's settings, go to Apps, and under Permissions, make sure Background Auto Start is turned on for the VoIP.ms app. Then go to the Manage Apps section and find VoIP.ms soft phone. Open Battery Settings and set it to No Restrictions. This keeps the app active in the background. Under Other Permissions, set Show on the Lock Screen, open new windows while running in the background, and display pop-up windows to always allow. This ensures that incoming calls appear properly even when the app isn't open. Remember, specific routes for the settings can vary on every phone. For example, in iOS, you will need to open the Settings, then Apps, look for VoIP.ms, and give permissions. Now go back to the app and tap the VoIP.ms logo at the top. If everything is set correctly, your status will show as registered. And you're all set. To test your setup, dial 4443. You'll hear a short voice message followed by an echo of your own voice. That's it for setup. In the following video, we'll explore voicemail, call forwarding, and other features. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.